In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the price of a bond which has semi-annual coupon payments. The current price of a bond is found by calculating the sum of the present value of its remaining coupons and principal. However, since we're accounting for semi-annual coupon payments, we'll have to tweak this formula slightly. In our example, we have a bond which has a face value of £1,000, a coupon rate of 10%, four years to maturity, and a yield to maturity of 5%. We're also going to assume that interest payments are semi-annual, in other words, paid twice a year. In this video, we will first cover how to use the present value function to calculate the price of the bonds, and then demonstrate that the calculation is correct by calculating the answer manually. As mentioned earlier, we'll have to tweak this formula slightly when we have semi-annual coupon payments. Instead of taking the annual interest rate, we need to divide this by 2 to give the semi-annual interest rate. The same goes for the coupon payments. Usually, our annual coupon payments would be £1,000 multiplied by the coupon rate, which is 10%. However, since we have semi-annual coupon payments, we need to divide this by 2. Finally, we also need to adjust the term of the bonds. This now becomes the years to maturity multiplied by 2. To calculate the bond price automatically, we can use the present value function. We type equals PV, first enter the rate, which is 2.5%, followed by the number of periods, we then select the coupon payments, and finally we enter the par value. Now before we click enter, we're going to add a negative sign in front of the function to ensure that the final value is positive. Therefore Excel automatically found that our bond price is £1,179. Next, let's find out how this was calculated. Even though our bond has four years to maturity, we have eight periods as we'll receive eight coupon payments. As shown in the formula, we will receive just the coupon in periods one to seven, and in the final periods, we will receive the coupon plus the principal. So let's input the coupon payments and add absolute references to ensure this remains static as we drag it across. Then in the final periods, we'll add the principal to the coupon. Next, we need to calculate the present value of each of these coupon payments. We can calculate this by taking the coupon payments and dividing it by 1 plus the interest rate to the power of the current period. Now, before we close brackets, let's add absolute references to the interest rate and then let's drag this across. Now that we have all the individual present values, we can add these up to give the price of the bonds. Here we can use the sum function. As you can see, this gives the exact same bond price as the one returned earlier, which proves that the PV function was correct. So that's how you can calculate the price of a bond with semi-annual coupon payments in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.